I'm outside of Good to meet you. Me too. Hey, Carolina. We're the ones that I've talked on the phone. So thank you. Thanks for coming. Good to meet you. Yeah. summer I was camping with my kids and we were sitting around the fire my daughter who's 14 turned and said dad why are you running for congress and so I tried to imagine how I could explain it to her and my two sons that were sitting there and I said sweetheart imagine a, a tandem bike right but instead of having two seats it has 535 seats and this represents our congressmen our senators our leaders from around the country and I said sweetheart this bike keeps going around the block and around the block and around the block and sometimes a congressman or a senator will jump off and then we'll replace him with somebody else and the bike continues to go around the block and around the block and around the block. I said, what do you think we need to do to create change? How would you need to stop that bike? How would you need to change the course so that other people are on that bike and other people are ultimately we the people driving? How about we just throw a pipe in the front wheel of the bike and start over? She said, that sounds like a great idea, Dad. That's the reason that I'm running. I think every single person here is very successful in their own right and doesn't necessarily need to be running. I'm running because I want to run. I'm running because I realize that we can send the same person back to DC that we've sent for the last 50 years and put them on the bike and continue to get the same results, which is now 20 plus trillion dollars. 20 plus trillion dollars with the stroke of a pen of debt that we will incur, that our children will incur. It's done. It's done. Somebody's got to put a pipe in the front wheel of the bike and stop it. I want to be that guy. Knowing you will be powerless as a freshman, how will you work on issues you're compa campaigning on? You know, I, I don't agree with the powerless thing. I mean, that's just an ideology. That's an idea. Uh, walking into a, I, I'm as equal as anybody else in D.C. if you choose to elect me. So I don't go in thinking that I have less of a say, less of a vote, less of anything. I'm here to represent my constituency just like everyone else is there to represent their constituency. So the idea that we need to play small and take a back seat to someone else, I do not agree with. Um, I've been on top of the mountain. I've also been down to the bottom. I've won a lot and I've lost. I grew up in a single parent home. Uh, I watched my mom you know, live a very valiant, poignant life in teaching me how to hustle, teaching me how to be a man of my word, teaching me how to grow, uh, you know, the ideas that I have in life. Um, I really do feel America is missing leaders. I feel like we have a bunch of sheep that are going anywhere and everywhere that they can just to become reelected. And I feel like what we need right now as a nation are leaders, people with poignancy, people with, with vigor, with, with honor, who will honor their word. And that's ultimately why I'm running and what I plan to do in DC. Where we're headed. So how do we pass a torch? It's more assholes like me showing up and running for office. I don't look like any of these guys. Oh, I gotta put on a suit to be a politician? For what? You know what I mean? You're not wearing a suit. Nobody else here was wearing a suit. I'm more like you than freaking anybody else. Yeah. I'm going home and play with my kids tonight. I'm going to go freaking feed my horses and run my business and, you know, put gas in my truck. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need. Is we need more me, more Kid Rocks, more Donald Trump step up. And ultimately what you do is you start having more and more of those people run, it becomes what ultimately people see is like, oh, this is the new norm. Yeah. So I can show up in my tie and my lapel pin and be like, I love America. I'm going to go to DC and fight for you. My question is how? What exactly are you going to do to fight? Your little face is adorable. So is yours, baby girl. Bryn, we just finished, hey, we just finished uh, another uh, another debate. Nice. We're, we're killing it, girl. We're killing it. I can't. Watch them. Do you have, like, videos? We'll have video. Jake recorded this one, but um, this one was good. It wasn't like super crazy, but like, Brittany, we're gonna win this thing. Are you excited? You don't really yeah. care. You don't really care, do you? You know what I told everybody? I told everybody about the bicycle. I told them the whole story about the bicycle. Is that Griffin? <laughs>